welcome you all in 5 minutes information channel and this is episode number 48 and in this episode I will talk about the survey research design which is the most popular method in the quantitative research study. This video is helpful for the undergraduate, master, postgraduate students and as well as early career researcher. For the viewer guidance, you can get the notes of this video lecture on URL link mentioned on the description of this video. In this video, I will talk about the two important points. Number one, what is survey research design? And number two, what are the different types of the survey research design? Point number one, what is survey research design? Survey research design are the procedure in a quantitative research in which investigator, administrator, a survey to a, a sample or to the entire population of the people to describe the attitude, behaviors or characteristics of the population. In this procedure, survey research collect quantitative number of the data using questionnaire and statically analyze the data to describe the trends about the response to a question or to test a research question or research hypothesis. Now, the point number two, what are the different types of the survey research design? There are two main types of the survey research design. Number one is cross-sectional survey research design. Number two, longitudinal survey research design. Cross-sectional survey design. In a cross-sectional survey design, the researcher collects the data at one point in a time. Example, the high school examination system in United States or UK or any other developed country. A cross-sectional study can examine the current trends, beliefs, opinion, practice. Cross-sectional design is divided into two types. Number one, group comprehension. And number two, national assessment. Group comprehension, cross-sectional study design conduct to know about the group strength like male and female and students of the dis different academic discipline like social sciences, business administration, law and etc. Cross-sectional studies also conduct to know about the national assessment of any national issues like the causes to increase in population and etc. Cross-sectional studies results shows attitude, practices, community needs and program evolution. Number two, longitudinal survey design. A longitudinal survey design is, involves the survey procedure or collecting data about the trends with the same population, changes in a cohort group or subpopulation or changes in a panel group of the same individual over the time. Longitudinal survey design also divided into three types. Number one, trends study. Number two, coherent study. Number three, panel studies. I will describe each one by one. Number one, trend studies. Trend studies are longitudinal survey design that involves identifying a population and examine changes within that population over the time. Number two, coherent study. A coherent study, a researcher identify a subpopulation based on the some specific characters and then studies subpopulation over the time. All members of the coherent studies must have the common characteristics. Example, a coherent group of the 18 years old studies in 2011 and after 5 years later in 2016 a group of the a group of 23 years old students are studies they may they may or may not be same individual 
studies in 2011. Number three, panel study. A panel study is a longitudinal survey design in which researcher examine the same population over the time. For example, a high school senior student studies in 2010 and same population is studies in 2012 and again in 2014. One disadvantage of the panel study is that individual may be difficult to locate after two years of graduation from high school, students are being dispersed in a various place. That's end from the episode number 48. You get the notes of this video from the URL link mentioned on the description of this video. In next episode, I will talk about the survey research design advantages, characteristics. So stay tuned with the five minutes information. And don't forget, like, comment and subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching till the end.